Wix recently released a new copy API. Now you're able to copy to clipboard. What does this mean? This means you're able to copy a piece of text and save it for later. Let's look at what the Wix API doc says. As you can see from their example, it shows six lines of code with blank spaces in between. This is the example text that Wix provides in order for you to use and customize it for your website. But how do you use it? Well, there's many ways that you can apply it to your Wix website. You can use it for regular text, dynamic text, and even text that comes from a repeater. Stick around and I can show you three easy codes to make this totally codable. Click on the link below in the video description to open up the tutorial site. As you can see on the home page, I have three different buttons, regular, repeater, and dynamic. Let's start with the first example, the challenge. We need to copy this piece of text to our clipboard. This will work on a desktop or a mobile device. So you can try it at home if you're watching from your cell phone. CQ 2020 code is the code that we're trying to copy. Before I copy it, let me open up a new browser window, right click and paste. As you see, I have a URL saved in my clipboard. Now I'm gonna go back to the tutorial, click this button, and I have a success message. Now I can paste it anywhere. I can paste it here and hit enter, or I can open up a new browser tab and paste it there. Let's look at the next example the repeater. In order for this method to work, you need to connect your repeater to a data set, linking it to a custom database. Now on my repeater, I have a couple of buttons. One says copy promo. I can click on that. Another says copy email. Depending on which one I press, a different email or a different promo code will be saved. As you can see, I don't have any promo codes displayed on my repeater. They're hidden. I'm actually taking that information from the back end via the code and telling the code what column or what field to grab that promo code from. That way it stays hidden and not visible on the repeater. Let's copy the Pizza Galleria promo code. Let's paste it. The promo code is Pizza Love. Now let's copy the Soup Bar promo code. Let's paste it here. And that promo code is soup2020. Pretty neat, right? If you notice at the very bottom corner, there's a button that says read more. Let's click on that so we can visit the dynamic page of this item. Now that we're on the dynamic page, you'll see the same promo code and email buttons, but you'll see an extra button down at the very bottom, the big blue button that says copy URL. Perhaps you wanna share this page. If you click on this copy URL button, and paste the link, you'll see that we visit the exact same page. Now let's step into the editor to show you how I connected all this. This is the home page. The regular text is here on a regular text element. The repeater is here and it's connected to a data set. This data set is linked to a database which is back here. It's called restaurant. The restaurant database has a dynamic page called restaurant title. This is where the individual item is displayed. Regardless if the person is clicking inside of the dynamic page or inside of the repeater connected to the restaurant database, we're able to pull the promo code from a specific column. Let me show you where that column is. From here, I have a regular text column and if I click on the settings, manage field, the field key is called promo code. This is a field key that is used in the code to let the code know this is the column that I want to grab the information from. If you wanna try out this tutorial, click on the link at the very top right corner that says get code. It'll take you directly to the tutorial page where you can scroll through method number one, two, and three so you can copy and paste and customize accordingly. If you're curious to see what it looks like in mobile, visit the Code Queen Facebook page to watch an exclusive video 
of a walkthrough that I did from my mobile device. There is something really unique that happens on a mobile device that does not happen on desktop. The only way to find out what that is, is to visit my Facebook page and click on that video. I'm Code Queen Ayeli, and this was another totally codable moment.